What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, a series on my channel where every Tuesday I drop at least two videos and tell you guys how to do a trick or concept. Now the aim of this series was of course to get all the beginner tricks done and then to start moving our way up and of course this is one of the last videos that I can think of on a beginner concept and if there's some more maybe I can make them in the future but for today this is our last beginner concept and from here on we're going to start moving up on more advanced tricks. So yeah. Alright but for this video our last beginner concept is going to be jumping a box. So we're actually going to go into Changa right now. Hold up. Alright and here we are and of course right behind me you have a big box. Changa's big box in fact. And so we're going to be taking a look at how to jump this and some other boxes in the skate park but just remember that jumping a box in general is going to take some decent skill on a scooter. You want to be somewhat comfortable riding a scooter before you start jumping boxes because obviously if you're not comfortable you're going to be in the air, you're going to be super uncomfortable, you might even jump off a scooter, take a crash. But for the people who are ready and they're pretty confident on a scooter and they're ready to hit some box jumps, let's get into it. And so we are starting off with the biggest one here in the background but we will go to some smaller ones in the skate park. But in general, I mean look at that, look at that, hey what's up? I'm actually mid right now while they're filming for... I'm getting that in the car! Alright, gonna get that in the car. There you go. Well, I didn't even didn't even think about this. I'm actually filming right now while they're practicing for the Changa Comp. So what's going on in the background? Alright, but box jumps in general. When it comes to the box jump itself, a couple things to think about. One, how big is the box? Two, what is the speed run-up layout to the box? And three is just if you're comfortable enough to be in the air for that long for said box. Whatever box you're looking at. Alright, but I'm gonna grab the camera right now. So essentially, if we're looking at Changa's layout for a box right here, now of course we have a vert wall right here so that's not really much of a problem to get our speed that we need we can even take one push and then we have the takeoff of the box itself so the speed for this area is really good and it's very accessible but for some boxes it might not be like that so you have to figure out for your box what's the best way to get the speed you need and then of course once you have that speed it's about taking that and then having the confidence to stay on your scooter to pull through the box because we're not trying to go up we're trying to pull through the box over it to actually get over the entire thing so if you're going for height yeah you might go real high but guess what you're gonna land right there that's a no-go want to get over the box so shoot forward rather than up all right and then the last thing of course is just the confidence so once you have the speed once you know to pull through the box everything else is just to have the confidence to stay on your scooter and to go over the box now of course you're gonna go from this box to the next box to the one after that whatever box you have near you it all varies now I'm gonna go to a couple other ones and explain those hold up and another example of a box this one's about probably half the size maybe three quarters but with this box, we just look at it, we see about how big it is, and of course we want to see how we get the speed for that. And again, we got the vert wall to the step up, and then we have a kind of a skin little path here to go through and then hit the small box. But once you figure that out, once you analyze the box, you'll figure it out. Can I jump it? Yes, you may. Michael's coming in with the speed. Boom! Boosting it right there. He's got the confidence. And here comes Grandpa. An absolute boost. But that's that's pr pretty much what it is, guys. Just having the speed, knowing what you're coming up against, how big you got to jump, and having the confidence to stay on. I don't know, three, four, five things. And you can even consider this a box if you want. And the same concept applies pretty much everywhere. All boxes. It applies to all boxes around. All right, you guys. That's going to be the end of the video there. Drop a like if this helped you out. And, of course, you know, dropping a like helps the channel out, helps me out. Comment down below what you guys want me to do for future Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. Got a bunch of tricks still to do in the intermediate and advanced categories. And subscribe to the channel because videos come out on this channel every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So, turn on post notifications and never miss out on those. And yeah, until next Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, I'm out of here. Peace.